You are listening to a curated clip from the Naturally Inspired podcast. Subscribe today at livenaturallyinspired.com. I think we're fostering a culture where we can't even have discussions or ask questions, right? Like this new level of censorship, definitely on these platforms for sure. But even within our own personal relationships, you know, people, I, I can't even question their viewpoint without them just shutting right down and like, okay, well, I don't want to talk to you then. You see, it's, um, (sighs) the blessing I I did an interview, I did a, uh, interview with, uh, Daniel Pinchbeck on my, uh, to my YouTube channel and he wanted to have a conversation and he's a much more, uh, liberal perspective, you know, believes in, uh, man-made climate change, believes in, um, that the nation state is not necessarily the best form of government, um, you know, very much more anti-Trump. So, you know, we had a conversation and does it get heated? Sure. Yeah. But, um, the point is at the end of it, it's like, this is what's beautiful about America. Yeah. You know, we should be able to have these exchanges and yeah. disagree. That's okay. That's the yeah. beauty of, of our freedom of speech. Yeah. The danger, it's unhealthy to not have your ideas challenged. It's very dangerous when you have such conformity, yes. right? And yes. such extremism. And I saw that coming. I saw that in 2017, very clearly, 2016, 17. By the time that Trump was president, they said that he created civil war. Bullshit. Yeah. In 2017, beginning of 2017, we were, set, we were talking about this on Gaia on Buzzsaw. And I was like, are you creating civil war situation? Because it's the polarization is so powerful. The media's horn is so blatant. Yeah. They're so anti-Trump. Yeah. Everything that he says, they mock, they ridicule. Yeah. That should make you suspicious right there. <laughs> that makes, anyone who has any idea what the media is and how controlled it is knows that yeah. that's suspicious. And more importantly, the disrespect for the president. Because I don't care, yes. like the media has never disrespected, and we've had some bad presidents. Let's be yes. honest, we've had some presidents that were abysmal. We've yep. had decisions that were abysmal. You yep. never saw the media treat the president that way. With such so disrespect. The they, thought, they thought, oh, we have the right to basically attack this guy every day mm-hmm. and call him a liar every day. Yep. You're creating a condition of people who watch that who think everything, you know, what you're saying is, is the truth, is gospel. They're taking CNN as gospel. Right, yeah. or whatever MSNBC, all these gospels, you know, and they're perpetuating the lie. But more deeply than perpetuating the lie, they're not even doing what a journalist is supposed to do, which is show both sides. Oh my goodness! George right? Stephanopoulos said yesterday there is not two sides to this story in regards to election fraud. That is a direct quote. There is not two sides to this story. Wow! 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 He'd right? Feel better, huh? Yeah. I was like, uh, I think you just canceled your job. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So the point is that these people don't want to have a, have a, be able to say, hey, you know what? What Trump said here, I agree with, or this is a good point. Or, hey, there's 80 million Americans that resonate with this. Why? Yeah. Why, why are we now obliterating that 80 million, half of America, you know, not half, but like essentially you're talking in terms of voter demographics, that's about half. Um, half of America, I don't care. I'm just obliterating. They don't exist. Yep. They're, they're irrelevant. They're yep. white supremacists. If you're pro-Trump, you're a white supremacist. Yeah. You're a fanatic. You're an extremist. Right. Use me. You're waging war. You are perpetuating a civil war psychology. Yes. Literally. It's and like why? saying, you, know, you guys are Confederates. Yeah. Co- are you, what? <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, uh, right. just because someone is pro-industry, <laughs> you know, and pro-keeping jobs in America now. Yeah. You missed. Yeah. This is the danger. Of what's of what they are creating. This again, this is the oligarchy. This is the people that own media. This is the, yep. the Council on Foreign Relations view of the world, which wants yes. one government. And I can document that in my New World Order book for anyone who wants to understand it. Yeah. They don't want an idea of a nation state, America as a nation state, right. responsive to the people of America, the president being responsive to the people of America, a popular president holding rallies with tens of thousands, thousands hundreds of, people, of thousands yeah. of people showing up. My God, that's all that energy. That's all, that's fascism to them. How can that be fascism? Look for Naturally Inspired Podcast on all podcast platforms, video platforms, or go to naturallyinspiredpodcast.com.